All right, excuse the mess. This is just an impromptu video because I believe I'm done with everything. So uh, this is the Wii laptop. I'll have another video once it's all closed up, but uh, I just finished it um, up and everything. So um, yeah, I just call it the Wii laptop. Nothing fancy. Um, my first uh, big project like this, I had started like a year and a half ago, and I kept uh, I went like hardcore for about a month, and kept on uh, after I put about 100 hours in, I kept on burning through boards. I went through about three motherboards um, through various reasons, and then hung it up and finally decided to go back and finish it. So, um, anyways, let me just plug in the power supply real quick. Working with one hand here. All right, so here she blows. So I'm just going to show you the insides, innards. I don't have a whole lot of in-progress videos, so this is kind of what you got. But I've got all, everything wired in over here. Um, if it'll focus. There we go. Um, there's some stuff I ended up not using. Uh, the 5-volt supply that you see, like, right I don't know, in the middle there. For some reason, I was getting absolutely no power output out of that, no voltage. Um, so I ended up having to use this um, little step-down guy to connect to the 12 volt power supply and have 5 volt output. That's for the uh, amplifier for the speakers and then also for the uh, I had to run an extra fan because it was overheating so um, anyways so let me go ahead and power up. I've got some uh, ghetto tastic buttons over here there we go anyways so power's on I've got the, uh, as you can see from the video, infrared lights, that's what the Wii bar, uh, the Wiimote uses for the sensors. Um, your eyes can't see them, but the camera can pick it up, which is kind of cool. So anyways, uh, as you can see, those are working just fine. Excuse the mess, my workstation's a horrible mess right now, but anyways, speakers work okay. I don't know if you can contrast, it's kind of, there we go. There you go, see, the sensor works just fine. And, of course, this has the uh, disk drive completely gone. It just has the uh, motherboard for the disk drive on there. So this is one is meant to either just play it as a virtual console or to uh, mod the software and run games off of a uh, USB. So, anyways, this is the top half. That's where the speakers are at and my extra fan there, which is currently blowing. And anyway, yeah, that's that's uh, pretty much it. There's not a whole lot else to really say. I'm going to put this thing back together, and I'll uh, have another video then. One other thing I wanted to say, too, before I uh, shut this video down. Um, I I've seen a lot of uh, projects where people um, have done stuff like this, and they have all the wires kind of going crazy like this, and then they close it all up. And all the wires are permanently fixed in there from point A to point B, so if you ever have any troubleshooting, I imagine, or have taken it apart it's probably a nightmare so I made every single wire in here this is meant to be disassembled because you know I've, I've had to do a lot of troubleshooting on this so it's meant to be disassembled all the wires I mean it's a very you know simple thing I'll just show you in the speaker all the wires are meant they've got headers on there so that they uh, disconnect and reconnect very easily so I just did that on all of them um, yeah, just so it's easy if I ever have to take it apart, which I've had to do quite a few times. So, anyways, yep, that's it. All right, so this is the Wii laptop. Uh, I'm completely 100%, fingers crossed, finished now. This is the fourth board that I went through, motherboard, before I finally got one that uh, I think is good to go. So, like I said, I'll keep my fingers crossed. But, anyways, I adapted this from... A project that I had seen from uh, someone I can't remember his name but I'll link to it uh, in the description below but it was his design I just took uh, a case from polycase.com it's a ZN maybe 145 I can't remember I'll have that link in the description as well but it's the top and the bottom they fit together um, and uh, I had to do some trimming of the board um, this version does not have the disk drive intact only the motherboard for the disk drive so it um, is basically designed to either use strictly as virtual console or you can uh, mod the software and then uh, I've got the USB drive here is accessible so you can load games off of a USB drive so that's basically how the games are designed to be play, played um, I'm gonna uh, probably improve on that in the future maybe even have the disk drive accessible who knows most of these portable projects don't have it in there just because of the size and the capability of being able to play 
um, them off of uh, flash media. So, but anyways, uh, this right here, the screen is just a screen I got of Amazon. It also uh, uses 12 volts, which is the same power supply that the Wii uses. So it works out really great there. I'll go ahead and plug it in. So you've got something to steer at besides the black screen. Um, I just cut a hole in, I just cut a hole in the, the ZN housing and stuck like the reason it has this line and everything here and all these buttons is because I kept the housing for the LCD intact, just the front housing piece. And then I epoxied it in here and then used Bondo to fill in the gaps. And then I just spray painted over it. So spray painting job, uh, I did pretty terrible, but I'll, I'll improve on that for the future. Uh, it's my first spray painting experience and I didn't do very good anyways. Um, so I've got some holes for the speakers cut out here. And this is not, it, it's not like completely portable technically. I still have to have the power source in here. There is enough room in here for a battery pack. I just didn't put one in. Uh, this one just for cost sake and like this is just for me. I don't really need it. This is kind of just a proof of concept for me to see if I could do it. I'm going to make more of these in the future and I'll probably have a, a power pack in there so it can be completely 100% portable. But this one is mostly portable. Anyhow, um, so I've got the uh, controller ports here, access for GameCube controller ports and the memory card. I've got an SD card slot in the side here. Um, these are the buttons that I kind of ghetto rigged. Um, so this is your power button. I'll go ahead and turn it on. And uh, there is an indication light. I don't know if you can see it here. But down here, right there, it's real fuzzy. Um, I don't think you can really see it very well in the thing here, but yeah, so you can, you do have the, uh, LED indicator for power, um, and then right here is the sync switch for the Wiimote, this is your reset switch, uh, this is for your SD card, and then right here, this is some ventilation, I have a fan mounted there, so, hang on, let me turn this thing back on, so I have a fan mounted there, um, Sorry about the background noise. I've got a fan mounted in there. I've actually got two fans in there because I was having some issues with it overheating. So I've got one fan here where fan normally is on the Wii and then the other one over here. And as you can see, I've got the uh, sensor bar lights here. Um, these are regular infrared lights. You can't see them normally, but the camera on the, on the phone picks them up. And then uh, I've got them close enough together that you can use this at a pretty close range. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. There we go. So you can use it pretty close range. Focus. So. There we go. So everything works fine. And these are the uh, virtual console games that I have on this particular unit. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, I think that's just about everything. So, I'll, uh, I've got the potentiometer in the back for the volume control. Let me go ahead and shut this thing down. I'll show you how I've got that set up. So, oh, I've got some hinges on the side here. These hinges can be adjusted as far as tension with these screws. These screws right here, um, you tighten those to control how much tension you want. This is... Um, I believe this is the wire for the sensor bar. This is the wire for the screen. I have it where you can disconnect it. Um, that was in case you wanted to use the screen to connect to something else, you could unplug this. Like if you had a, a DVD player, you know, that had S video, you could unplug this and plug it into the, the uh, Blu ray player or DVD player. So I doubt that I'll ever use that, but that's why that I did that instead of just hardwiring it in. Um, I just use a regular component like RCA jack input for the power cord. I kind of like the way that they are. It's just simple. So I just have one of these. Um, I think I have the, the pin is uh, your 12 volt feed and then the shield is your ground. So that's where your power comes from. And then this little potentiometer, I don't have a knob on it right now. I may put one of those on there later, but this is where you control your volume. So anyways, that's pretty much it. That's the uh, Wii laptop. Um, there we go.